Hi viewers, I'm Dr. Prince K. Preston and Endodontist. So today I'm going to introduce my new channel called Dental Treasures. So why this channel now? So let me tell you a small story behind this. So once I finished my UG and PG, I was like the learning part is over. So let me focus on the earning part. But I was totally wrong. After years of practice in various clinics, I used to work in more than 80 plus clinics. I did learn so many things. I did learn from senior dentists, other postgraduates, from attenders. Yes, you did heard it right, attenders. Electricians, plumbers, receptionists, technicians and so on. So what are the things that I learned? So first is the clinical management. Yes. So you should know when to hire the right person, when to fire one, when to increase the salary, when to increase your treatment charges and when to expand yourself. The second is your financial management. So if you are planning to set up your own clinical practice, it is important for you to budget yourself and to choose the location and how much of amount should you require to invest. So whether you are to go for new equipments or whether you are to go for old equipments. The next is the patient management. Yes, some clinics at the end of every month, they do take a survey. They want to find out how many patients did visit their clinic and is it through telecalls or is it through any other digital platform or is it just a walk-in. And if the patient actually got treated on the day one, if not the reasons why the patient didn't agree with the treatment and the doctor who's in charge of that particular day. Yes, they do take a survey for this. Financial management. Some of you are very skillful in their work and also they're A's in their academics. But yet, when it comes to financial management, it's a mishap. If you're planning to open your new clinic, it's very important that you budget yourself, the area, the location, and how much of money is required to buy or purchase the new equipments or whether you have to invest in an old equipment or a used equipment. So next is equipment management. Fortunately or unfortunately, as a dentist, we have to deal with a lot of equipments. And yes, daily maintenance is very important, so be it an aerodot or a dental chair. Otherwise, your procedure is going to hamper. You might be patients will be waiting outside your clinic and if there is any malfunction or glitches in any of these equipments, it's going to waste a lot of your precious time. So let me share a small incident which occurred to me. As a consultant, you have to visit various clinics and Bangalore traffic is a nightmare, trust me. So I did, I did reach her clinic and I was around 20 minutes late. Fortunately, even the patient was late. And then we had a little bit of chit chat regarding the Bangalore weather and the climate. And finally, he sat in the dental chair. So, and then he started asking, what are you going to do? So I was like, yes, I'm going to start with the root canal procedure. So he wants to know more details about the root canal procedure. So I had to explain the definition of the access cavity all the way up to crown cementation. So again, we lost another 15 to 20 minutes. And then I did load my syringe to give LA. And then again, he had doubts whether it will affect his eyes or brain and so on. And after detailed explanation, finally we started the procedure. I rolled up my sleeves, took the aerota, and then boom, the electricity is completely cut off. And then I asked the doctor, is there any backup? She's like, no, sorry doctor. Uh, a compressor or the dental chair is not connected it's only the bulb which is connected and that will also run only for the next 15 minutes so there's a lot of time wasted in this so it's very important for us to have a good power panel so the best part of this channel is that i'm not going to explain each and every topic for example if i want to take financial management yes the definition of financial management the classification who is the finance minister no i'm not going to deal with that i am directly going to the experts who's already into the practice for many, many years. So I'll be interviewing the top doctors. I'm going to introduce all the latest equipments which is available in the market today. And I'm also going to compare and review all the materials which is required for your day-to-day -day practice. For example, if someone requires RVG, I'm going to compare all the different RVGs which is available in the market and also their finance part of view, whether EMI is available, how much is the cost of that, the warranty, guarantee, all the details, I will be discussing with you. 
also don't forget to check the description which is given below so those who is looking for a job opportunity or if they want to sell their equipments or buy your old equipments all the description is given below so my humble request to all my viewers please do like and subscribe this channel and do share it with your friends for more content like this thank you so much